Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing our tour of the current meta before the standard rotation happens and a bunch of our favorite decks get removed uh, when Journey to Ungoro goes live. Today is match number two with our Zulok deck, which I've made some pretty big changes to and is skewing a lot more on the light mana, so I'm a little nervous to see how it does, but fortunately we're pretty high ranked right now, so I think we should do okay. Let's go ahead and jump in and see how it does. Gul'dan versus Jaina. All right, we got a mage. This is going to be interesting. This is probably going to be pretty rough for us, but uh, we'll see. We got a bit of a better spread for once. In fact, I think I'm going to hold on to this. I actually don't hate this spread. So we'll start out with this hand and see how we do. Hopefully this guy's not too control heavy. Uh, <clears throat> we shall see here. He does have some card backs. I don't recognize, so I, probably, I may or may not have them. But, uh, <laughs> so I'm a little nervous. So maybe a guy just bringing down, or coming down with the ranks. Uh, you never know. I think I will hold off on my coin for now, though. I got a black chair cons Councilman and a couple of higher mana cards in my hand that I may want to use that for down the line. Not gonna use your, uh, Frostbolt there? Sure you don't want to use your Frostbolt? You may wish you'd used your Frostbolt. We'll see. Uh, so let's keep in mind that guy's definitely got something in his hand that's gonna mess with us like a frost bolt uh so we'll dire wolf here anyways one of these is gonna eat the frost bolt one way or another might as well get some damage going in fact uh we're likely gonna see both this turn or actually he can't he won't have enough mana he'll ping this but he's gonna leave my dire wolf in play which is fine with me all right, so let's keep in mind he's still holding on to that Frostbolt there. I think Imp, Imp Gang Boss is a good play to mitigate that. Go for the face with our Dire Wolf. Um, he's probably going to take out the Dire Wolf now with that Frostbolt. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's an Arcane Missiles. You never know. He's got a 3-6. <laughs> Fucking A. I do not have a great response to that. Uh, I can Actually, I do. I can actually... Can I, I can't take it out completely, but... Well, I could. I'd have to trade my direwolf for it, too, which I'm hesitant to do. I think what I'll do instead is um, life tap. Argent Squire, not bad. And then we'll just drop some more minions. These guys both have sticking power, which makes them pretty good against uh, pretty good against a mage, specifically because if he uses some kind of AoE, both of those things would survive it, which is nice. I mean, the possessed villager would obviously die, but then we get a shadow beast, so they stick on the board. That's one of the things that I'm trying to kind of emphasize at the moment with this uh, Zulok iteration that I'm doing, is having some cards that are going to survive their general AoE a little bit better. There's that Frostbolt that I'm looking for. And you get the right minion with it. Hey, but we do get at least one imp out of our gang boss, which is nice. Uh, we got our defender, which is solid. I, I'm kind of tempted to do defender here, although... Yeah, because I can't get great value for this. But I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'll Dark Iron instead because I'm just going to take this thing out. And then we can hit him for one. We're actually doing pretty okay here. Do I have anything for two mana that I particularly need to play? Not really. I think I'm going to hold on to the coin here. We, we can afford to tap right now, but I don't see any reason to do it unnecessarily. We have a pretty solid hand. And that is why the sticking power comes into play. See, we got some sticking power out of that guy and out of this guy, which is great. Makes his AoE a lot less effective. Uh, this is just going to ping him for one, which isn't really ideal. I think I'd rather Darkshire Councilman. Um, three. And then I can also lay... Let's see, Darkshire Councilman, and then let's coin and Defender. Kaboom! Just make it a little bit more annoying for him, so we can't just ping all of our stuff off. Also, now we are out of Arcane Explosion range, though. Who runs Arcane Explosion? Seriously. I barely see that card at all anymore, unless uh, it gets pulled from, like, a priest or rogue card that, like, it's a random class card. Once in a blue moon, I guess, but... Oh, he's got a Blood Mage. Okay, so yeah, this guy is just also going back up through his ranks. <laughs> hey, that was actually... Pretty okay arcane, uh, arcane Missiles for us. Ooh, fireballing my guy before he can get value. That's annoying. 
it is what it is, I guess. All right, so um, I think we'll flame juggler here to try and take out Thalnos. Yeah, sweet. He can have the card. I don't really care. Um, we have plenty of taunt at the moment. I think Sp Spawn of Zoth is kind of tempting, though we are now in flame strike range, which makes me pretty nervous to play too many more cards from our hand. Let's go ahead and uh, do one of these. And then just keep on knocking on his door. I'm going to hold off on playing this stuff for now, just because this is going to be cleared. And when it does get cleared, I'd like to have something to replace it with. <laughs> Oh god, the flame strike! I can feel it coming! Ugh, volcanic potion. That's only three mana? Oh, it's to all minions, though. Gotcha. He just happened to be in a nice situation for it. Oh, I'm so sad. Is this an ice block or an ice barrier? I wonder. Uh, I guess we'll go for the face to find out. Ooh, but I'd like to maybe buff that. No, we're going to go for the face and risk it. Okay. So, now we want to be careful what we play next. We'll play a Void Locker just in case. Is it a counter spell? What is he running? Some weird shit going on. And then we'll spawn him to Zoth. And we'll do another defender here. Boom. That's more. Toughness going on all these guys so he can't ping them off. Jeez. Sorry. This is a... Uh, this is surprisingly intense. I was not really expecting this from a rank 22 mage. But I guess that's what I get for making assumptions. Oh, shit. There's the Ragnaros. Yeah. Definitely what I get for making assumptions. Fortunately, we have 2, 4, 6 damage on the board. Oh, shit. We have 4 damage on the board now. And that's totally going to be a nice barrier. Well, we got to try. Let's see. We can deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8 damage. Oh, shit, we do have lethal if he doesn't have an ice block. There's no ice block, there's no ice block. <laughs> From the jaws of defeat. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, <laughs> we were able to pull that off somehow. I really didn't think we would. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I know I did. Uh, if you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.